Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Oz with Toe Vibes and we are on our way. We're rolling right now. Well, after this light, we will be rolling on our way to a recovery call. A lady called me, she's very frantic. And all I got out of her really was that she was stuck on some kind of line and she's in a, uh, in a Suburban at a KFC. So uh, as soon as I get past this light, I'm gonna try to be the first one on scene so I can get this recovery call. So let's go ahead and pull up and see what we could get into. So here's the customer right here at the scene. Looks like I'm the first one on scene. It's in a very, very odd place. So we're gonna pull up and see how we can help these people out. How you doing darling man you must have been hungry huh i'm just teasing you here my husband's going to kill me dead well hopefully we'll get it to where it's, it's not damaged or nothing rock. yeah and if you can lift it off that rock and nothing's damaged i can drive home sure sure telling the sad story of what his wife did yeah and he has told me five thousand times <laughs> Too short, you're gonna get caught on a curve. He said, like, You're gonna get caught on that rocket camp, see, huh? What do you want me to do? Just fill out the best you can of your info, okay? Just calling me right now. Yeah, okay, let me jack it up and get that big rock up under for a minute underneath there, okay? Okay. All right, so it looks like a pretty simple call. I mean, hopefully, I could just use my jack to get it out. Good thing I brought my big stump with me. I carry this bad boy everywhere. Just for situations just like this. So we're gonna take our sweet time and do this, no rush. I don't got any calls backed up, so we're gonna play around a little bit and see if we can just drive it off there. That way I won't be disrupting anybody trying to get any food or anything and uh, we'll keep the flow and the, the traffic going.
I think that's gonna be the best bet, just to go straight out of here. Let's try that. God. Go! Go! I'm literally recovering a car right now. Right, darling I'll be with you in a second let me get all this cleaned up yeah. go ahead fill that okay you already got that filled up yeah okay just go ahead hop in your car I'll be with you in a second okay okay, okay. Oh my God. there is but nothing that would cause the vehicle it's more cosmetic but who cares it's underneath well, like your oh basically your transmission pan it got indented you know what I'm saying? But it didn't get punctured. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, take it to your local shop, have them look at Eventually, it. Actually, we're going to the dealer tomorrow. Yeah. Will it be okay to drive it to Festus? We, we, we moved up here from down there. Yeah, honestly, if you don't feel safe about it, take it to your local place. Just have them do a quick safety inspection on it. You know what I'm saying? And just tell them, be like, hey, it ran over rock. My personal opinion, being a car guy and a tow guy, it just got dented, but it didn't get punctured. Okay. Trust me, if they got punctured or ruptured with that much pressure, okay. there'd been transmission fluid everywhere. Okay. So you hit the round part of the rock, so it kind of dented it, <laughs> but that's not going to affect any of the operation of it. Look, you know what I'm saying? I'm you know what, darling? It, I've been in here a million times. So. It's tough. It's a tough little I angle. Right yeah. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I have but, a, um, I usually drive by a canyon. Yeah. That's that's a boat, huh? It's a land want, boat. That's yeah. My husband, he wanted me to drive the other day. <laughs> he said, so you can blame it on him. Be like, see, it was your oh, fault. No, I can't blame it on him. All right, well, give me a minute, darling. I'll be right with you, okay? All right. So, that wasn't too bad of a call, you know. Um, instead of using a tow truck and. Uh, too bad of a call. Instead of using a tow truck and. Um, you know, I didn't want to back up the whole flow of traffic. And literally, that woman came flying in here. And then she pulled into the handicap spot for some reason. And 
she flicked me off when she drove away. You know, that's how people are so respectful of the tow personnel that come and help them when they're in, sometimes they're, you know, real dark moments like this and when they're in a pickle and they need help and that's how we get treated out here as a tow guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up and everything. Uh, as always, everyone stay frosty, work smarter, not harder. Please like and subscribe. Oz, Toe Vibes, out.